Hey, it's Ethan, and in this video, we're gonna talk about how AI is changing how we need to think about business, how we need to think about our work, and the different ways that we can build leverage and avoid falling into some crucial traps um, that a lot of people will be falling into and are already falling into when they're trying to adapt to this AI landscape. So let's dive right into it. So the core trap here is essentially that of not understanding how to systematize a business and how to actually build things that over time create more leverage. So it's a very simple model that I wanna lay out here. And essentially how it works is that we're going to have this graph here. Um, so we're going to have on the Y axis, um, we're going to have output and on the X axis, we're gonna have time. So we have output over here and then we have time over here. So when we essentially think about this, what we need to think about is um, what is the current way of thinking about how to do work and what is the um, what is the shift that we need to make? And so right now, what work is, is you trade your time for hours. And when you do that, you increase the amount of time you're spending and you have more output. So essentially what you're doing is you do a little bit of work here. Um, you get an output, you do more work, you get more output. Uh, maybe you, you know, take a couple of days off, take a day off here and there. And so it's going to look something like this where you're like doing work, you're getting output. Uh, maybe you're taking a day off, time is going with no output and you're going up again. And so this is kind of how most people's careers, both on a daily and weekly level and also on a monthly and yearly level go where you work, get output, you get better. Um, and something to think about is it's actually going to probably look like this. You're going to w spend a lot of time, not get very much output. You're going to take some time off then it's going to get a little bit steeper as you get better at what you're doing. And so it's essentially like just getting steeper and steeper over time, but it can never fully, it might get really steep in terms of high output for a low time, but you're still taking time off. You're still um, doing something like this. Now, when we think about building uh, systems, we're essentially starting on the same trajectory. So we're starting out by learning the skill. So there starts out with skill development. We're learning the skill um, and we're on the same exact trajectory. And then once we understand how the skill works enough, then what ends up happening is we decide to build systems. But what's hard for many people to see is that a lot of times when we're building systems, whether it's AI agents, whether it's AI uh, other types of systems, we have to then reflect back on uh, these processes that we went through. We're saying like, what helped us get better and why did these, uh, why did the angle of this get steeper over time like what led to the better output we have to reverse engineer it um, and when we're reverse engineering this uh, we're actually not making any progress so then what's happening is we're starting to reverse engineer this but time is still chugging along you you can never stop time and so what's happening is as you're reverse engineering this you're basically flatlining and then maybe you say okay you understand what the process is and once you understand what the process is, you're starting to understand, ah, so X, so maybe this is like X, this is Y, this is Z. And you're saying like the difference between this and this is that, oh, maybe I, uh, these specific variables changed between from here to here. And then maybe you understand that other variables change from here to there. And what you're starting to realize is you're starting to get more and more clear on the distinctions and the ways and the processes and the systems of what's basically going on inside of your mind. Um, and then in order to scale, you have to start figuring out how do I actually build systems that will repeat these processes for me? And a lot of people, they just understand it. Maybe they build a couple SOPs and then they go back to work and maybe they it gets a little bit steeper, right? This is actually gonna be a red line. This gets a little bit steeper, this gets a little bit steeper, um, and you just have crazy output per amount of time that you're investing. Um, but the smart way to think about this is if you start building agents, if you start building in systems that are essentially, you're offboarding these processes that you learned to these systems. And something that's really important is that a lot of people try to build these agents and systems down here. 
a lot of people when they're getting out and trying to sell AI services, they'll say, ah, oh, I'll build you an AI marketing system. I'll build you an AI sales agent or marketing agent. What they don't understand is that if you don't actually understand and reverse engineer what creates high output per unit of time, then you don't actually have the data that you need to build this thing. Um, so a lot of people are building lots of, there's a lot of shitty AI agents, shitty AI sales systems out there that actually are, they get you negative returns. The more that you do this, it's going to maybe automate a lot of the tasks, but the tasks are going to be done entirely wrong and they're going to be entirely ineffective at accomplishing what you want to accomplish that you will actually get negative effort per unit of time. So it actually be like this per unit of time, you're building the system and it's actually giving you negative effort. And then you need to go in there and correct all of the things that it did. And essentially what's happening is that you're going to be spending a lot of time just to get back to baseline. Um, and so the phase shift here is that you go through this process, then you understand why things work the way that they work. Then you build the agents and the systems. Um, and essentially what happens is you build these, they go over here directly to the right. Um, and then and then once you implement them, it looks something like this. And then as you get better, you're still training it. Then as you get better, it's just a vertical line. And then this one will keep going like this. Boom, boom, boom. Stepwise over. Boom, 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 boom. And then this one is literally just working for you 24-7, getting insane results and actually creating more problems for you um, that you then um, start this process over with. And so this is then creating more problems that need to be solved that you don't currently know how to solve. And then that's when the cycle starts over and you go through this entire process again. Um, and so then what happens is you do this enough time, you go through this process, and then maybe we say like, all right, we have like that. Oh, we have that. Maybe we go through this again, starting here. Um, once this is implemented, we go through this process again. Um, and then we go through this process again. We're basically starting this process wherever the AI agent creates new problems. So we have this essentially stepwise feature, but rather than being, um, rather than being here at the stepwise feature, which essentially would put us over here, we're having all that are essentially increasing the output. I know this is a is a wonky looking graph here, but what you'll see over time is maybe you have 10 agents like this that are getting created. And then over time, you're getting this insane level of output. Whereas if you wanted to have, but the key here is that in the short term, you sacrifice output, right? So it looks like, oh, like this thing doesn't work. I'm not getting output. If I would have just kept doing what I was doing, I would already be all the way up here in terms of output, but I'm down here. What you don't realize is that once you implement it, it's literally like that. Um, and then you will be astonished because where you could have been here, if you would have just stayed with the old way, now you're all the way up here. Um, so thank you for watching this uh, shitty graph output time. Uh, but I think you get the idea is that there's a lot of trade-offs there's a lot of trade-offs. I absolutely suck at writing with the keypad here. There's a ton of trade-offs that need to be made in the short term in order to get longer term benefits. So those who are the most intelligent in terms of business and scaling are the ones that understand that the more that you understand and and implicitly like you're working here and you're accepting the fact that you're going to have a lower output for a certain amount of time. And what's crazy is that this isn't just like a matter of days. Maybe it takes you three to 12 months to really refine these agents. And obviously um, maybe you're going to like implement them and they're gonna be something like this. And maybe it takes you three to 12 months of being, actually it's gonna be like three to 12 months of trying to 
integrate these systems and you're actually having lower output over the course of three to 12 months. But as you refine it, then the output is literally orders of magnitude bigger. You're not just getting, it's not just like this exponential curve like this where, okay, maybe in two years I'm getting 2x the amount of results. No, it's like I'm getting negative results for three to 12 months and then boom, now I'm getting 100x, 200x, 1000x results because I spent the time to make this trade off and I consciously understood the entire time that I was making this trade off. And the big difference is that if you don't understand that you're making the trade-offs, you're never going to feel comfortable reducing output for months at a time. You have to understand and viscerally feel that, okay, I am choosing to make a trade-off because I trust that when implemented, this is what happens. And this is how people build wealth. This is how people build uh, assets and how they um, essentially uh, create value in the marketplace. So thank you for watching this video. Um, I hope that you found this valuable. And uh, if you're interested in these models, you can check out the uh, school community in the description. As of right now, it's called AI Systems Mastery. Um, the name of it is going to be changing here very soon. Um, but you'll be able to find other people that are interested in one person businesses with agents, people that are talking about the different types of systems that you can build um, in the community. This person in particular is talking about building different uh, YouTube transcript generators that then are able to summarize things, take actions, integrate different aspects with the CRM, API calls. Um, so really solid stuff in here. Um, and this community is 100% free as of right now. Um, it will not always be free. Um, but if you want to get um, these types of training and value in the future, um, just hop in there with a link in the description. So I hope that you found this valuable and I will see you in the next video.